Now let me let me come to Samir. Samir, you worked with G for such a such a long period of time, and you worked with several countries. So you have a very diverse uh, perspective on two regions as well. Uh, and clearly, G is one brand which uh, is case studies all over uh, for high performance culture. Uh, how as a CEO you manage uh, your business in terms of how are you measuring that are we doing right? What are those key tenants where you know you are focusing on this is how we build it? Yeah. Uh, because this is a great, great case. Yeah. And how are you sort of on an ongoing basis measuring uh, are we heading in the right direction? Yeah, yeah. So, um, look, I, I'm going to point it out. I, so, I've been with uh, the G for 16 years now. Um, as you said, very, very high performing uh, culture. I've spent time, uh, spent a number of years in the US, I've spent a number of years in Japan, uh, and then back uh, back in India. I came back in 2011. Right? Um, so, G has, has, has a philosophy around, you know, how we measure performance, right? And how do we see whether we are progressing uh, ahead or, or not, right? So, uh, so, so let me just start with, for example, what, what Manoj uh, pointed out. When we put our targets together for the beginning of the year, right, uh, we look at how much faster we can grow versus the industry, right? So if the industry is going at X, uh, if I grow at X, that means I'm not performing well, right? I'm supposed to be at 1.5 to, to 2 hours, right? And then what are the <coughs> measures I put in place to, to enable that, right? So, uh, so the biggest thing is, how do I go faster than the industry? The second thing, what Manoj pointed out, so, so from that regard, Bharti ATL and, and, and G is you know, very, very similar. I may be growing very, very fast, but am I growing profitably? Am I actually adding to the bottom line or any new product that I'm doing? Is it actually incremental to, uh, to, to my income? And ultimately, are my returns going, going or not, right? So those are the two things we, uh, we look at. Uh, now, how do, we, how do we inculcate that? How do we make sure that um, you know, we, are, uh, we are completely focused on that? So I, can, I can tell you that every week, for instance, every week we have a leadership meeting where we look at how, how do we do, do it on the new accounts, um, you know, how do we look, how do we do in terms of our trading expenses, how do we do in terms of losses. So we actually monitor everything on a weekly basis. On a daily basis, I get to the number of new accounts every day, right? And on the, uh, if we compare it to last, last month, uh, if something is, is, is not right, we take corrective action. So it is, it is the speed of how quickly you can measure. So there was a time in Jay when, you know, we used to do these annual sessions um, you know, on, on, on uh, the operating plan, uh, we used to do sessions that used to, um, you know, look at three years out. All, all, all that has changed quite dramatically because the world is moving so fast. Unless you're measuring on a daily basis, unless you're measuring on a weekly basis, unless you're looking at things very, very quickly, the corrective action that you take, right, um, uh, could actually, if you're not doing it fast enough, could could uh, could lead you to the wrong way. Right? Now. The second part of high performance culture, what we've got to do is to show that our employees exactly feel the same and they're doing the stuff that, that, that the organization wants them to do. Right? So, um, so again, it is built over decades and decades of, of our experience in terms of building high performance cultures. Um, so I think it, it, starts, it starts from the top. Right? I, I actually feel, unlike what Noah said, I do feel it starts from the top. Uh, the tone is really set from the top. Uh, we we have something called you know where we expect our employees to have a very high stay duration. Right? If you say something, you go to it. Right? You, you go to it. You find a way to get it done. Whatever it will, it may take, in the right spirit, right integrity, right compliance, right ensuring that you're not running afoul of, of any of those uh, those things there. But um, you know, so so the tone starts at the top, and then we have you know the actions that that we take. So any leadership meeting that we sit in, there is you, you or or any meeting that you you see that there is a high degree of impatience in this world. Right? You have to get the things done fast. If things are not getting done, you know, uh, quickly enough, people are, are getting agitated. You think that you know why is this not getting done? So so that tone, that action that you that you take, right? And then the measurement of the people. Right? So so you know, she has this this. Famous or infamous, call it way of measuring our employees, where 
uh, what we used to do. We still still do, do some of that, but um, um, force rank employees, right? We force rank employees based on the performance, not 20% or your role models and, and excellent performance, and you've got your mid-17, and you've got your bottom, bottom 10, right? And then you take actions on those bottom 10, and when those actions are taken, people see that. They see that because you're a bottom performer, you're not doing well, you're actually doing well all the way. So all of those actions, you know, uh, starting from the top, starting from the measurement, starting from the speed that you have, is what drives a lot of high performance for, uh, for, 